These are the dumbest things that have ever happened in baseball. Look at these boneheads. <laughs> it's a silly game. What are the dumbest things? In baseball, there's a ton of ways to mess up. But did you know that somebody actually messed up so bad they had to evacuate the Capitol building? <laughs> what? And have even led to people being arrested. But most <laughs> of the time, being arrested. Did you have to tackle this guy? I don't think you did. I think this guy was down on his own. He wasn't even doing any. He just said, Ooh, oh my God, his neck. Oh my God, look at that. You do it to prove a point? I guess so. Dude is proposing, I think. <laughs> well, I guess he said yes. He, he loves this guy. Yes, of course. <laughs> you are my soulmate and I will love you eternally. But most of the time, these mistakes just result <laughs> in people. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> Where is he looking? These mistakes. Oh, it just popped out of his hand. I thought I saw this frame and I was like, oh, that didn't even come out of the same hand. We bowling. You think everybody in the stadium went, oh, and jumped up and did a 360. Thanks. Just results <laughs> in people. Oh, then he turned around like, huh? <laughs> Anybody see that? Where, where'd it go? Like when Milton Bradley got a fly ball. Milton Bradley? That's a baseball player name? I thought that was a, a board games. There's a player named Milton Bradley? <laughs> Wait, there's a player named Coco Crisp? You've got to be kidding me. No way that's his real name. Okay, that's not his real name. That's a, His name is Covelli Lois. Okay. No, it's not his real name. It's not his real name. I thought that was his real name. I was shocked. Like when Milton Bradley got a fly ball in the eighth inning with one out. And Bradley plays it off to the side, uh, and he better uh, he doesn't know how many outs there are. He just throws uh, the ball into the... Bradley <laughs> threw the ball into the stands with only two outs, allowing one run to score uh, and another to go to third. Oh, I was going to say, isn't he out anyway? But no, if they had bases on... This happens more that's than good. you would think. Sometimes that's not a big deal. it actually screws a team over. Like when Benny Agbayani made this play while winning 1-2-0. The Giants tied the game on a sack fly but benny thought there were three outs gave the ball to a kid <laughs> realized there were only two outs oh get that back get that back hey from the kid, give me that but it was too late the giant scored and we're now winning <laughs> that kid is like who the fuck is this guy's problem okay i guess <laughs> dad dad look Away look from the dad kid, i got the ball but it huh <laughs> his dad is not gonna believe him why are you telling stories again joseph you never got the ball he looks guilty. He, looks like, he feels so bad about this. This is bad for everybody involved. Well, hey, kid. Took the ball away give me that from ball. Kid, <laughs> but it was too late. When the grounds crew makes a stupid mistake <laughs> that costs the team a game, oh my the game, God. people are pissed. That's what happened to the Marlins, who during their first season ever made the extremely stupid decision to hire employees by going to a local high school and hiring high schoolers to be in charge of the tarp. I mean, that's kind of cheap, though. That's that's kind of cheap. I don't know. It's like $8 of an hour labor. According to one of the members of the crew who says that this was the first time they had ever had to put the tarp out <laughs> during a game. And for some oh, reason, God. rolled it out into the outfield. <laughs> hey, where do we put this? I don't know. He just said to start pushing. All right. Where are they going? <laughs> but the tarp got stuck. So the grounds crew yeah. had to start over. They tried to drag it out again, but it got stuck again. They tried it again with even more speed. This is it miserable. got stuck again. What? They tried for a third time with Let's even go, more team! speed, and it got stuck again. Ooh. It got so bad, <laughs> the Marlins manager came out to help them. They tried another attempt with even more people and got stuck again. What are they getting stuck on? What's happening on that field? They, they get stuck on what? Finally, okay. after six attempts in over 20 minutes, they were able to drag the tarp onto the infield. I mean, that shit's wet by that point, right? Do you cancel the game? Like, at that point, the game's over. Like, that shit is drenched. Unfortunately, mud. at this point, the rain had already stopped and the field was covered in water. The rain stopped, but did, I guess it's a it's a it's a it's a moral victory at that point. We can do this. We could have done it the whole time. Troubles with the tarp are bound to happen ah, during no! weather, like <laughs> when the Pirates dead. grounds crew got the tarp stuck Help! and literally had a member of the team swallowed by it. Die. He had to be saved by the Pirates players, who ended up having to become the grounds crew and hold down the tarp in pouring rain. Look at this poor guy. Member of the team no! swallowed by it. This is how star players are born. 
Oh, new first baseman. Oh, <laughs> birth of Venus. Coming out of the clam, yeah. In 2014, the Yankees grounds crew messed up so bad, the field was soaked to the point where they had to cancel the game in the fifth inning. But since the Yankees oh, were winning man. by a run at the time, the grounds crew messing up actually got them the win. Wait a minute. New victory condition unlocked. Wait. Mm. Well, well, well. Pretty good. Alternate win con. Yeah, 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 yeah. The field was soaked. They tried to use a flamethrower to try to dry it out. That didn't work. A and the game was canceled, even though the weather was fine. Which begs the question, why don't they just invent a tarp that rolls itself, eliminating the need for well, grounds crew members and unnecessary delays? How would you do that? That sounds like a robot stadium. How would you do that? Actually, they had this oh, in the okay. 80s, All right. and it almost ended a player's career. Vince Coleman was Rookie of the Year <laughs> and led the league in stolen bases. Oh, no. Oh, he's he and gone. his teammates were hanging Yahoo! out on the field before the game when, for some reason, the automatic tarp <laughs> started rolling out on the field. Coleman had his back turned, and no, the metal turn around. that oh, weighed a half ton oh, rushed him and fractured his leg. Oh, my God. He drew aggro for what? Dude, somebody launched it. That's a that's a hitman thing. Excellent work, forty seven. <laughs> you engage the the tarp roller, dude. Is that marble? What the fuck is this? It's a half ton tarp heavy. Oh my rolling god, out the field. dude. Coleman had his back turned, and the me wait. So so this whole thing got banned because of that. That sounds like sounds like a union job or something. They didn't want the robots to take their jobs, so they took a player. They're like, you know what? Take the L. We're keeping our tarp pulling jobs one way or another. Couldn't they get it to stop? I, I, they probably had a, he only lost his leg and not his thigh and hip and liver and chest and ribs and arms and brain. So I think they probably did get it to stop. Wow, Coney, that was all the organs. Yeah, I went to college. Yeah. Series of his career. Automatic tarps have pretty much gone extinct ever since. While the number a lot of, of stadium employees Can you stop have that gone shit? up and up. Oof. Like in New York, when the grounds crew made the sprinkler system <laughs> go off in the middle of a game. Hooray! I love that. In Arizona, J.J. Putz was about to throw a pitch yep. when... <laughs> This sound guy accidentally <laughs> pressed the button, which played the most random sound ever heard. I don't think that's the most random sound. That's kickstart my heart, right? I think that's the open. That's the fucking hit it. No, this is the this is the official music video. Just give me the song. I think that's what that is. Yeah, dude. He's trying to amp him up. Let's get some Molly Crew in this bitch. Let's go. You guys ever go to a baseball game and they do like the. Da, na, 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 na. <laughs> there's something there's something extremely funny to me and I don't know what it is I don't know how to articulate it but it's when songs tell you what to do and people just do it like like everybody clap your hands everybody <laughs> the implied obligation yeah 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 like you're being rude if you don't do this thing come on <laughs> is this not the funniest thing in the world to you this is so funny to me. Like, they could just play this in a stadium with 30,000 people and everybody's like, oh, fuck it. This one made the worst mistake a bat boy can by catching a ball and throwing it into the stands, <laughs> even though it was fair. That's throwing this it... guy's fault, bro. He's not forceful enough. Tell that kid to throw it back. <laughs> Look at this guy. Me, please. <laughs> what about me? Okay. What about me? Even though it was fair. Huh? <laughs> That's an actual huh. Even though it was fair. <laughs> a few moments later, another ball came to him. Not again. It was foul, but he was so scared of messing up again. <laughs> Not give me with that one again. again. He just stayed completely still. Nope. Nope. I would do the same thing. You yelled at me last time. I'm just here to watch now. Nice try. It's a bait. The rest of the night, they keep hitting balls to him. Nope. The Giants, who insist on hiring senior citizens to do it. What? Why? On one hand, this is a great gesture. It was originally part of their senior involvement program, giving older people a that's chance nice, to get involved I guess. and do something they otherwise would never get to do. I mean, that's cool, I guess, but like, 
also kind of dangerous, right? The problem is, this has led to a ton of falling, <laughs> face planting, Ow. extremely long delays as they try to travel <laughs> long distances. This is me chasing Mips. And probably creating me trying to get that goddamn rabbit. Come back here! <laughs> you can't even get it for him. That would be insulting. This other stupid idea sounded cool at first, but ended up being so stupid, it might have actually cost the team a game. Okay. Oh, Vuvuzela night. Yeah, 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 yeah. Hell yeah. During the 2010 World Cup, the Marlins did a Vuvuzela giveaway. Very fun. The same Very fun. that blared throughout Tremendous. the tournament in South Africa was given to 15,000 fans who showed up to a Florida Marlins. In Florida? You might be able to get away with this in, you know, a, a proper part of the country. This was based, actually. I mean, I'm not against this. This is fine with me. But why, why Florida, of all the teams, right? Stadium. Loud equals funny. Literally, yes. The Vuvuzela is literally built that way. It is built to be loud equals funny. And, and it's true. Afterwards, the Marlins still deemed this promotion as a success. Wait a minute. The Marlins lost because the crowd wouldn't shut the fuck up. And they lost by four and won the game because of it. How are the how are the Florida fans not realizing like, hey, maybe we should be quiet now? <laughs> but Florida just can't help them. So, Go team! Go Marlins! We love our Marlins! And here are our Florida fish! <laughs> if you guys hear a ding on my phone, it came from Mallory. Wait, wait. <laughs> No, honey. No. No, you just had a nightmare. A very funny clown nightmare. Like from the circus. No, no, must have just been the wind. <laughs> oh, that's just a car. That's a very funny clown car outside with 40 clowns in it. <laughs> Holy shit. Oh, that's funny. That's good. That's very good. Yes. I'm sorry, sweetie. It was very funny, though. Compared Shameful beta male. Hey, happy wife, happy life. Am I right, fellas? Uh, uh, happy, uh, I love it with the... Stop honking. Oh, it's a goose honk. <laughs> ah, pretty good, yeah. And compared to these other promotions... Oh, my God. It was deemed this promotion Wait, as this a success. looks dangerous. Did they all get baseballs? Holy shit. The Dodgers once did a promotion so dumb, they had to forfeit the game. Yeah. They gave away 53,000 toy baseballs. <laughs> what the fuck? This seemed like a good idea no. until a couple bad calls happened and people started throwing the baseballs onto the field. Could you imagine like somebody's going for a pop fly and you just throw that shit? It's like multi-ball. You just start tossing it to where he has his glove up. 53,000 baseballs. What a nightmare. The umpires decided the game could not go on, so the Dodgers had to forfeit because they gave away 53,000 toy That's baseballs. That's pretty good. The Red That's Sox fun. once did a promotion. Our baseballs will block out the sun. This year, the Brewers did a flyover with fighter jets. Unfortunately for the fans, they didn't see it because for some reason, the Brewers did a flyover with the roof floats. <laughs> the Nationals did something even worse. In Huh? What did they, I guess you could hear it. That's kind of nice, right? Apologies for interrupting, uh -huh. but I just wanted to share this with you since you were there recently. Oh! <laughs> Maleficent catches fire during Phantasmic. Oh, God! Holy shit! Mickey killed it! Mickey set that shit ablaze! Mickey wins! Yay! Mickey won! Maleficent is dead! The train! Are people screaming? Your attention, please. Due to unforeseen circumstances. People are laughing. <laughs> Service members jump this. out of a plane, parachute onto the field for military appreciation night. The problem was they never properly communicated this to the Capitol Police, who tracked the aircraft on their radars, <laughs> couldn't identify it, and sent a message to Capitol staffers that they identified an aircraft that caused a quote, probable threat 
to the U.S. Capitol building. The oh building my God. was evacuated. <laughs> This dude's dropping on the Capitol. Before they quickly I love realized baseball! It was just the Nationals. As a funny publicity stunt, the White Sox became the only MLB team to wear shorts during a game. That looks During comfy. this game, they like set that. their season high with five stolen bases. They won the game, had a oh. massive increase in attendance, and believe it or not, the players it... actually seem to love them. Yeah, it would seems that... great, but would that give you an advantage? Like with, yeah, sliding might hurt a little bit, but come on. A free jerseys to fans as a promotion. Even though they were paired with baseball pants, nah, pitcher Chris Sale found them extremely uncomfortable. He begged the White Sox to let the team wear their regular jerseys <laughs> during his start, but they said no because they had already made thousands of them to give away to fans. Oh, this pissed off Chris Sale. Oh, I hate these fucking pants! So oh my god. Bad. He went around the clubhouse with scissors and cut his and his teammates' jerseys hours before the game <laughs> what the fuck and also suspended chris sale what five days for cutting up every uniform in the building five days for that bro what's up with baseball players dude i don't know no pitcher was more mad than david Cohn after this play he was so angry he started arguing with the ump even what? though there were men on base so while he was screaming at the umpire <laughs> another runner came in and scored yeah Cone but like was, that so guy was, was definitely angry. out i i mean how is this even a question i'd be mad too yeah, that's not even close. What? Did arguing with the ump, even though there were men on base. What the fuck is this ump's problem? A no replay, get fucked. Another runner came in and scored. Uh... Cone got even angrier and kept screaming at the I'd ump. I'd be mad as problem hell. Problem was, nope, there yep. was another runner on base who scored all the Don't way care. from first base as Cone continued to scream at the ump. Don't care if we lose at this point. If we lose at this point, it's your fault. The blood's on your hands, ump. This amazing catch. But for <laughs> some reason, he thought he hit the ball over the fence. So while he slammed his glove, he hit the ball <laughs> over the fence. It didn't go over the fence. So oh, while he son slammed of a his bitch. glove and started yelling at himself, Adam Jones went all the way around the bases oh for an inside the park home run because Niger Morgan never picked up the ball. That's crazy. I am so glad that we're blessed with a sport like baseball where that can happen. Somebody can rage so hard run that they don't even realize. That's that's so good. That's fantastic. Lloyd Mosley set an MLB record by stealing the same base twice in one play. He was huh? safe the first time, and when the catcher threw the ball into the outfield, he, for whatever reason, got confused and started sprinting the wrong way around the bases. They tried to throw him out again. And go back, go back. Yeah, 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 let's go. So he was able to go back to the... What a flex. He hit the 2-1-2. Two, two. Hey, uh, hey, no harm, no foul, right? He came out the same. We're all even on this. Javi Baez did something similar, and it actually worked. He started running backwards to avoid the tag. <laughs> no. Problem was, there were two outs, no. and all the Pirates had to do was throw the ball to first to get out of the inning. <laughs> but for some reason, they tried to throw gotcha. it home, but still only had to throw the <laughs> No, he's the umpire. This is some Bugs Bunny shit. Nobody was there. They <laughs> threw it anyway, and Javi Baez was able to make it. Why did he become the umpire? Who <laughs> actually bugs money? He tricked oh. him into giving the ball back. Still, he did this. He told the umpire he's safe, and then he the took the base. First for the run. <laughs> he saved his friend and then got the base himself. He went the wrong way, realized he went the wrong way, went the right way, <laughs> missed the bag, then had to go back the wrong way to touch the bag, then tried to go to third anyway. Oh. Should have been out by a mile, but a bad throw allowed him to be safe. Oh, then okay. He tried to go home and was out by 20 feet. Oh my God, bro is confused. That is so embarrassing. Dude, you just know 50,000 people are watching you on the worst day of your life. My controller. You just get Joy-Con drift. You're just running around in a circle. Oh. But uh, even this play doesn't come close dude. to the dumbest ever. Okay. That award goes to this guy who did the age-old <laughs> okay. trick of running onto the field during the game, uh -huh. despite knowing you're going to go to jail. Right, but for how long, though? How long would you go to jail if you ran out on a field, right? A day? Oh, whatever. Five games? <laughs> Propose to his girlfriend. Oh, he was proposing. 
as he got on one. Oh my god! Why did he? Why did he pick this spot? He picked left field. Is that center? Uh, all right, that's sweet, I guess. Me. <laughs> Mods ban him. Get that guy the fuck out of here. Security Oosh. destroyed him. This guy might have been the smartest to do it. He ran onto the field, juke <laughs> security, jumped over the outfield oh, wall, shit. avoided another guard. Oh, he's doing the Super Mario. This is what I want to do at Mario World. Climbed onto the back side yeah. and jumped out of the stadium without getting caught. Dude, this Prince of Persia. Oh, my God. If I was that guy, I would keep showing up in disguises. I just keep making your security look so foolish. Oh, no. It's the infamous New York Yankees runner. Duh, 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 duh. The dumbest <laughs> offender was in Philly. Okay. The day after, another fan became famous when he was tasered on the field while running on it. See, that's what I was saying. You got to tase. That's what you do. Not with a gun. This became with national that. news, sparked debate around the country, debate? and increased security at Citizens Bank Park. Despite all of this negative attention, the very next night, <laughs> another fan did it. He apparently <laughs> ran onto the field, tried to run away, but got tired and gave up. <laughs> they didn't clap enough. He put his arms up. He died. All right, all right, I'm done. I'm done. You're not going to do any conditioning, no training before... Running the bases, huh? Nothing at all. After the game, it Dude. was reported he was charged with defiant trespass, disorderly conduct, Come on. and possession. Why were they possession? Jesus. Why are they why are they booing him, huh? Meaning in all likelihood, this guy ran onto the field knowing he was going to get arrested, while also probably knowing he had illegal substances in his pocket. That's pretty good. <laughs> he got a ghost? What do you mean possession? Yeah. <laughs> Possesses two giant brass balls running out on the field. Philly hates quitters. <laughs> he got halfway through and the crowd is like, boo, you fucking lazy ass.